Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We need to get it established in our hearts tonight that that is God's perfect will for your life and my will. Wholeness. Wholeness. Turn to somebody and say, it's God's will for you to be whole. Hallelujah. with Jesus. Amen. It? Amen. And it just, it, he just wants to, he just wants to, he wants to uh, just kind of do things with us. Amen? Amen. Have you been doing things with Jesus? Amen. 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 Talking to him? Amen. Making him mad sometimes? <laughs> Making him smile sometimes? <laughs> Amen. That's what a relationship is all about. Amen. 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 And I just thank God that he loves us right where we are and just as we are yes. and he's working to make us better amen hallelujah he's still working on me to make me what i ought to be <laughs> amen and i thank god that he, he he just keeps on molding us until we become more and more like the lord jesus christ amen amen how about <laughs> preach <laughs> I just want to thank the Lord. God is always faithful. You know, he, he is so faithful to us. Even though we can lose our faith at times and it seems like nothing is going right and it's like God cannot hear us. But you know what? He is always near and he is never, ever will he leave you nor forsake you. You know, we've been through, I've been through lots of trials, 
but I just praised God. Every time I was going through a trial, he would send someone or he'd speak to me and just let me know that he is there. There's many times that, that I've been praying for a long time for something or someone, and um, sometimes it seems like there's no answered prayer for a long time, and then I'll say a prayer and, and it's like, half an hour or even a day later it's answered it's like wow well, lord you're showing me you still can hear me so god is always with us you know he'll never leave us and i just thank the lord for that because you know he's coming back soon and he wants us to be ready for him don't you want to be ready you know when we're going to have gets we get ready in our homes we just get it we want to make everything perfect and then when they come we just want to bless them and serve them you know we should be like that every day for our lord Lord. We should expect he's coming because he's coming soon. And I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ because he is faithful to stand by us even when we're unfaithful to him. So be faithful to the Lord every day. Do the best you can because he wants us to win our neighbors to him. He wants us to pray for our, our villages. Pray for our neighbors. Pray for the city, you know. There's so much suicide attempts on the young people now. And God is, is watching them. He, he's hurting for them and he wants us to reach out to those young people but praise God you know once we sit and pray he just listens to us prayer and his Holy Spirit goes forth and touches hearts and I just praise God for what he's doing now and in these end days and I just thank the Lord for his saving grace God is faithful amen amen, amen. say I love Jesus I love Jesus. I can't hear you. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. One more time. I love you, Jesus. I love you. Amen. With all your heart and all your soul and all your might. Amen. You know, I, I, don't, I don't holler like that at my wife when I say I love her, but I just say, you know, I love you, Humba. I just praise God that God, that, that we can, you know what makes God Huh? Happy when we tell him we love him, amen. <laughs> Man, you know, you know, right now Jesus, he's smiling down, saying, "Wow, <laughs> my kids love me," amen. Amen. We're gonna sing now. Hallelujah, Malik Chikaka, Jesus. That means one word you'll know is Hallelujah. Jia. <laughs> and uh, Hallelujah, I will follow Jesus. No one better to follow than Jesus. Amen. amen. Hallelujah, Malik Chikaka. to a saving knowledge of the Lord. A saving knowledge of the Lord. I would like all our people that travel to the villages that minister to our native people, Jeannie, pa Brother Dennis, all of our ministers to stand up and let, let's see how many of us are out here. Tony, Pauline, yeah. praise God. Yeah. Look at these, all our people that travel. Looks like we, 
Our ministers make up a, a lot of the church people here. Praise God. I have a reason for wanting you to stand up, and it's because God allowed me to see a few years ago. Uh, the Lord allows me to know things before he lets my husband know them. I don't know why it's like that, but, you know, it takes a few years for him to get it through his head. And I, in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, you know, the Lord lets me know. And God spoke to me a few years ago and told me that he was going to enlarge our borders. He was going to expand our tents. And I don't like new things. I like my home. I like things the way they are. I don't like changes in my life. I just like things, you know, I like, I like sitting comfortably in a church seat and not having to, to worry about, you know, making changes. But God seems to have a lot of trust in Michael and I. I, I don't know, you know, I, it's not easy for me to think that that you know we can do all the things God thinks that we can, but He must see some things that I don't. Anyways, praise God, praise God. 1978, Old Native Assembly. I get saved under Brother and Sister Gisi. 98 pounds because of cocaine. No more, no more places to put needles in my arms. I had to find places to put needles on my legs. I was really, really wealthy. I mean, I had like 12 gold nuggets from drug dealing on my neck. I had tons of jewelry, anything I wanted to buy. I bought a house when I was in my early 20s. Got busted in Dillingham with 17 pounds of pot. Half of it was really good pot and half of it wasn't. So addicted wanting to be delivered, trying to get delivered on my own, and couldn't. And only by the power of God, Amen. only by the power of God, Amen. praise God. Thank you, Jesus. One of our trips to Dillingham, I repented on the radio to Dillingham and all the villages around there, telling them I was sorry for selling drugs to their kids, you know? And then I met somebody at the airport, a young man, and I'm, I'm trying to tell him about Jesus. And I said, yeah, I went to Dillingham. Uh, Mike and Barbara Curtis, he said, yeah, you're Barbara Curtis. You got busted with 17 pounds of pot. You know, of all things that he remembered a few years ago, I was repenting for having sold all those drugs. That, that's not a healthy thing to do. It causes many problems. Anyways, when the Lord saved me in 1978, I lost my natural food store, I lost my home, I lost my tons of jewelry I had. I don't care to wear jewelry anymore, but God seems to think that uh, I, I should have diamonds on me for some reason, so he gives them to me still. But anyways, um, we went out, Brother and Sister Gisi sent us out to Wainwright, Brother Spencer and his wife were in Barrow, and they, we would call them, Sister Spencer would send us.